Good morning, everyone. This is another cleaning motivation video. So if this Monday you also need some motivation to get your house clean, clean up with me. My house isn't too bad or it wasn't too bad when I started cleaning, but it really always needs a good cleaning. You know how that goes, especially the kitchen. The struggle never ends. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. It is great that you're here today. If you are new to my channel, it is awesome that you found my video. Maybe you want to consider subscribing. I make videos about cleaning and organizing, simplifying life, intentional living, and I am i call myself an aspiring minimalist because that's what I'm aspiring to and I don't think I will ever arrive. It's really all about the mindset of constantly re-evaluating what do I really need in my life, what is important, what are the things that I truly make me happy and what are the things that I can do without. through my pantry and through my fridge to make sure that everything that's in there is really used up and if it has not been used I really think about do I still want to use it or is it just sitting around and I'm not actually gonna want to use it or is it expired can I just tell you a story at my mom's house I mean my mom is getting so much better she's getting very inspired when she comes visit my house because I've been reducing for such a long time now and it's getting more and more organized but she used to be horrible I mean even to this day she I mean she's running a business so she doesn't really have a lot of time to take care of her house and just stuff that needs to be taken care of on a regular basis and you always have to look at expiration dates when you're at her house like when you want some whipping cream and or milk that's in the fridge you always have to look at expiration dates because it never fails that there are things in there that are they have not recently expired let's just set, say it like that so um, she's getting better but I think this is so important especially when it comes to food because first of all I hate wasting food so I try to use up what is about to expire what has just expired but can still be eaten and I just don't want to keep stuff that I'm not gonna use maybe I can ask a friend if they're gonna use it sometimes you buy sauces or spices that you try but then you end up not liking it and then it would be just a shame to have to throw it away food is very precious and I just want to keep it as such and I have been buying so much less different foods and if it's anything that I buy it's fresh stuff but everything else is very simple it's always the same staples
always wear a rubber glove over my right hand, the one that I'm using the sponge with that's getting wet all the time, that is getting like soap on it, because I just hate it. It just messes up my hands, my fingers, my nails. I just don't like it. It just dries out my skin. I don't really do my nails a lot. I don't really ever put nail polish on anymore, but I still hate the dried out feeling of my hands. And so I try to always put the rubber glove on, but I only need it on the right hand because that's the only one that is really getting wet. It's getting all messed up and you know where I'm doing all the dirt. It really helps. feels so good to have a nice clean kitchen but of course it stays like this for about five minutes until we make food again the dining room is not too bad but I really wanted to organize that shelf in the back so um, that's one of the things that I like I've been thinking about doing organizing some more shelves to where they are not only functional but it also looks nice and not too cluttered that shelf in the back that that's just a lot of it is my daughter's stuff her school stuff her art project stuff and so she tends to just dump stuff in there which of course that's the easiest way for kids to do it that's why we have those baskets and uh, they do need to be organized every once in a while couch is a sectional and I don't know if you can see it but it was so nasty there was so much stuff in the cracks in there I put those Teflon sliders 
on those feet of the of the sofa so that I can easily slide it out but it also means that when we sit on there and kids jump around on there which I always tell them they shouldn't but they do then there are always big gaps between those sections because they're 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 not really fixed and see how dirty that is nasty so uh, it was pretty dirty and I need to do this more often I hadn't done it in a while shake out those blankets that we used to cover the sofa and let me tell you it was pretty nasty it was so dusty I could not believe how much dust was in those so you really need to shake out any fabrics that you have sitting around including pillows because they do get quite dusty never thought I'd feel so
desk, but now I don't really. It's just shelf and the dog basket is there. I don't know, thinking about changing something around there soon. There's actually a lot more cleaning to be done in this house, but that shall be the content of another video because I'm just gonna have to wrap it up now. I have so much to do. There is so much decluttering I really wanna be doing. So probably, hopefully, I'll get to make more videos because I need to hold myself accountable. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and check out my other cleaning videos if you love this one. I will link up a playlist cleaning for motivation. Have a great day, see you soon, bye.